The price for your healing was paid over 2,000 years ago. When Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary, he died so that you might enjoy healing and divine health. The Lord has promised to heal you in your body and mind. There might be areas in your life where you need healing, and you can always call on the name of the Lord. Do not forget that the Bible says whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Saved there simply means God answering your prayers and giving you the desires of your heart. There are passages in the Bible that validate healing, some of which are Isaiah 53 verse 5 which reads thus, But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace, and with his wounds we are healed. You can see that Christ was bruised for your iniquities, and he was wounded for your transgression, so that those stripes can heal you. The stripes of Jesus have made you whole already. The price for your healing was paid over 2,000 years ago. The only thing you just have to do is to take hold of your healing by faith. The devil wants you to think that you cannot stand up from your hospital bed and make you feel like that sickness will kill you. There is power in the word of God to heal you. The Bible says in Hebrews 4 verse 12 that the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, which can pierce the bone and marrow and discern the intent of the heart. When you make use of the word appropriately against sickness, you are sure of getting results. Do not take your healing with levity. Stand on the victory that you have been given in Christ Jesus against afflictions that the wicked ones are sending your way to dampen your health. Your healing can be complete this night if you take hold of it forcefully. Remember that the just shall live by faith and not by feelings. Join me as we pray together for healing in all areas of your life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for helping us thus far. We bless your name, Lord, because you have healed us already when you died on the cross, because by your stripes we have been whole already. Your blood has redeemed us from all the curses that are capable of afflicting us with sickness. For this, we are saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because your word is a weapon that can be used to rescue us from all forms of sickness that the wicked ones want to plague us with. Thank you, Father, because the diseases of the Egyptians can never come upon us. According to God's word in Psalm 147 verse 3 which says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. I therefore pray for you that the Lord is healing you from hurt that you might have suffered in the past and binding up all wounds that do not want to heal in the name of Jesus. I also pray for any member of your family whose heart has been broken that they receive the touch of the Lord right now. Broken hearts are mended and wounds are being bound up by the power in the name of Jesus. Psalm 41 verse 3 reads thus, The Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. I ask that the Lord sustain you when you are down with ill health and restore you to full health in the name of Jesus. There is no more sickness that will tie you down to the hospital bed, as the Lord will always make you and the members of your family to enjoy divine healing. If there is anyone that is suffering from any terminal disease in the name of Jesus. Psalm 103 verses 2 to 4. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy. The word of God is always true and stands the test of time. I hereby stand in solidarity of the word of God and decree that the Lord is delivering you from all iniquity that has made sickness to plague you and the members of your family. The Lord is also healing you from all diseases that do not want you to enjoy the goodness of the Lord. You will always be crowned with God's love and mercy all the days of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You need to be aware that the presence of the Lord is everywhere and every time. God's presence is so mighty and powerful that a mortal will be weak when he comes in contact with it. The presence of the Lord is felt more in an atmosphere of worship and surrender to him. Inviting God's presence means that you are telling God that you cannot do anything on your own without his help. John 15 verse 5 says that without God you cannot do anything. Many people are relying on their sheer strength skills, influence, wealth, and so on thinking that all these are the only things that will help them out when they need help. 
You are nothing without the help of the Lord. Know this and have peace of mind. Remember that you are just dust and frail, and without the help of God you are useless. That is why we will be inviting the presence of the Lord in areas where we need help. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always admit that you need the help of God all the days of your life. You will never be self-conceited thinking that you are self-sufficient and you don't need the help of the Lord. I release the grace for you to always trust the Lord to help you in times of weakness and in your moment of vulnerability. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the Lord will strengthen you in the days of your weakness for you to acknowledge that you need to invite God to help you out when you need help. I declare over you that you are in grace to seek the face of the Lord irrespective of the condition or situation you find yourself in the name of Jesus. The psalmist said that as the deer pants for the waters, so does his soul pants after the Lord. As this psalmist had this mindset, so will this same mindset build up in you in Jesus' name. I pray for you that the first place you will run to is God and not man. The Lord will be your first and your last option and never an alternative after you might have sampled other options in the name of Jesus. I release the grace for you to seek the face of the Lord when you are distressed by the things happening to you and around you. Seeking the face of the Lord anytime will be your default state and not something you will be compelled to do in Jesus' name. As you also go about your daily activities, you will be conscious that you house God and you carry God anywhere you go. By the unction that is upon me, I pray for you that all the members of your family will be people who invite the presence of the Lord in everything they do in the name of Jesus. I further pray for you that the Lord will help your family to be a family that seeks the face of the Lord every day in Jesus' name. No force of darkness will cause disunity in your family, which will prevent every one of you to pray and seek the face of the Lord together. I decree over you that no force of darkness will be able to stop you from inviting the presence of the Lord when all seems rosy with you in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that no power will cumber you with different loads which will make you forget to seek God's face in Jesus' name. Hebrews 11 verse 6b says that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seeks the face of the Lord. I therefore pray for you that as you seek the face of the Lord diligently, you will be rewarded handsomely by the Lord in due season in Jesus' name. You will be a part of people who are mentioned as people who are obsessed with the presence of the Lord in Jesus' name. I pray for you that those things that others are struggling to get, you will get them easily as you invite the presence of God and also seek seek the face of God in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will help you know your Kairos moment as you invite the presence of the Lord in your situation in Jesus' name. You will be able to discern when the Lord is about to reveal His Shekinah glory to you as you invite His presence in Jesus' name. Any dark force that is pretending to be an angel of light and that also wants to distort the worship you are meant to give to God are exposed right now by the powerful light of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You can use the book of Psalms to deliver yourself and your family from all the enemies that are gathered against you. God has promised to keep and preserve you from all the traps of the wicked ones that have been placed for you and your loved ones. When you talk about deliverance from the enemies, it means God keeping you safe from all the devices of the wicked ones. The enemies never get tired of plotting evil against the children of God. So you must not also get weary of standing against the wicked ones who have sworn not to give you rest. The word of God has been given as one of your greatest weapons against all the onslaughts of the powers of darkness. God does not deliver partially. He delivers completely from the enemies. It has never been heard that God delivers his children halfway and leaves them to deliver themselves on their own. When you feel like you have been overshadowed by the powers of darkness, Remember that you have one who has promised never to leave you nor forsake you. No matter the numbers that are gathered against you, you have one on your inside who is greater than those who are against you. The devil wants you to believe the lie that you cannot come out of that affliction that you are in. He wants you to think that situation will see your end. I want you to snap out of those thoughts 
and begin to see yourself as one that is victorious amidst all that the devil and his cohorts are doing against you. This is the best time to pray these deliverance prayers against all the entrapment of the wicked ones. Remember that the word of God says that you will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. Join me as we pray together in faith. Lord Jesus, we thank you because even before we call on your name, you have answered us and showed us great and mighty things which we do not know. Thank you because you have rescued us from all the devices of the enemies that they want to use to afflict us and the members of our family. For all that you do, Lord, we are grateful to your name. There is no one to be compared to your mighty and holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, because there is nothing hard for you to do, because all the plans of the wicked ones are falling to the ground, and you will continually rescue us from the traps of the wicked ones. Your word says that in all of these things, we are more than a conqueror through you who first loved us. According to the word of God in Psalm 18 verse 3, which says that the Lord is our rock, fortress and deliverer, in whom we take refuge. I decree that the Lord will always be your rock, fortress and deliverer, keeping you safe from all the devices of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. The Lord is fighting for you, and you are holding your peace. No matter the number that is gathered against you, they will flee before your very eyes in seven ways. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, both of things in the heaven, under the earth, and in the earth. The name of the Lord is higher than all forms of oppression and affliction of the wicked ones against you and your family. So I decree that all the devices of the wicked ones are destroyed in the name of Jesus. The traps that have been placed, and all the pits that have been dug for you to fall in are destroyed by the power in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord says in Job 5 verse 12 that God disappoints the craftiness of the wicked so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. I ask that the Lord will disappoint all the wicked ones who are gathered against you and your family in the name of Jesus. All their devices will not see the light of the day as long as the Lord lives. Psalms 34 verse 7 says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. I hereby stand on God's word and decree that all the traps of fear the enemies have placed in front of you are destroyed and taken far away from you in Jesus' name. The Lord is also delivering you from all fears that have placed you in bondage, since you have not been given the spirit of bondage to fear again, but the spirit of adoption, so that you can cry Abba Father, by this reason. You will not be scared of anything that the devil and his minions will send at you that will make you fearful in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus is what was shed on the cross of Calvary to redeem man from sin and give him eternal life. Through the blood of Jesus, you have the liberty to enter into the Holy of Holies. You should not also forget that the blood of Jesus speaks a better thing than any other blood. The blood of Jesus can break any kind of chains that the devil has entangled you with. I need to also let you know that the blood of Jesus can rescue you from the pits and traps of the wicked ones. Remember that during the days of the Israelites, when they were in bondage in the hands of the Egyptians, when God wanted to bring them out of bondage, he told them to get an unblemished lamb that was still young and kill it and sprinkle its blood on their doorpost. No matter how you have been attacked by the wicked ones, the blood of Jesus can keep you safe from the attacks of the evil ones. The blood has an element of safety and security in it. The life of an organism is in its blood. This means that life is in blood. The life of Christ is in his blood, and the blood of Jesus can shield you from the attack of the wicked ones. What are the things that you have been vulnerable to in the past? I want you to know that the blood of Jesus can keep you safe from all the things that want to keep you vulnerable. This is the perfect time to pray for the protection of the Lord in your life and that of your loved ones. We will be praying together with all sincerity of heart and fervency. Join me as we pray together. Lord Jesus, we are saying a big thank you for keeping us safe from all the traps of the wicked ones that have been plotting to harm us and the members of our family. Thank you, Father, because you have promised to always be with us and never forsake us. You said that you will uphold us with your right hand and tell us not to fear because you are with us. 
Blessed be your name, Father, because your blood has redeemed us from the curse of the law, and your blood has redeemed us from all the oppression of the wicked ones that are ganged up against us. Let your name be lifted and exalted, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, because we are not susceptible to the attacks of the wicked ones. After all, your blood is protecting and shielding us from their attacks. Hebrews 9 verse 14 says, How much more, then, will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death, so that we may serve the living God? Thank you, Father, because your blood has washed our conscience from acts that lead to death. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. We say a big thank you to your name, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over your homes, and I decree that all the forces of darkness that are lurking privily to attack you are destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Word of God says in Hebrews 10 verse 19 Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have the confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus. By God's Word, I pray for you that through the shed blood of Jesus on the cross, you will have the boldness to enter into the presence of God any time you feel threatened by the forces of darkness that have sworn to wage war against you and the members of your family in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray that the blood of Jesus will cover you and all the members of your family. Your going out and coming in is safe and secure. I ask that the weapons of the wicked ones against you and your loved ones be deactivated by the blood of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 23 verse 4 says that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil. I pray for you and your loved ones that any time you pass through dangerous places, the light of the Lord will always guide your paths and also the blood of Jesus will clear the crooked paths for you. The angel of the Lord will bear you and your family up in your arms, lest you hit your legs against a stone in the name of Jesus. The devices that have been strategically positioned to harm you and the members of your family are rendered useless by the blood of Jesus. Amen. By the stripes of Jesus you have been made whole. Healing is God's children bread. You are a child of God and by virtue of this, you are entitled to be healed of any sort of infirmity, sickness, or diseases. You are the healed one who the devil is trying to afflict with sickness. You have to stand in the authority that you have been given in the name of Jesus to enforce your healing. The Bible recorded that Jesus healed all sorts of sicknesses, diseases, and infirmities. I am here to declare to you that you are healed by the stripes of Jesus. It doesn't matter the kind of sickness or disease your body has been afflicted with. What matters is that you are healed in your body. Aside bodily healing, there is a kind of healing that happens in the soul. This kind of healing is for those who are broken-hearted and are also mentally unstable. The Word of God is in our mouth today. We will be enforcing healing upon any area of our lives that need it. Whatever you decree shall be established, because the words you speak are spirit and life. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, we thank you Lord for making us walk in the reality that we have been healed already irrespective of the kind of ailment we might be afflicted with. We say thank you Lord for healing us when you died on the cross over 2,000 years ago. Glory be to your mighty name. Lord we exalt your name for not allowing the arrows of sickness and disease shot against us to hit us. We are grateful for always being a shield and defense round about us, preventing the arrows of the evil ones to hit us. Glory be to your mighty name. We are appreciating your name because we know that all the wiles of sickness and diseases flying around us will never hit us and our loved ones. Be thou exalted, Lord Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you, my listener, and your family that any pattern of related ailment and disease is ending right now. I decree that these patterns of strange illness, which often result to death ends right now whether the devil likes it or not. By the power in the name of Jesus, I replace those patterns with the mark of the blood of Jesus. Your family from today will begin to work in divine healing. This will be the last time your family will be afflicted by any strange sickness or disease in Jesus' name. The word of God made it known to us that the Lord will not bring upon us the diseases of the Egyptians. By virtue of this, 
I pray for you that you and the members of your family will not be afflicted by diseases that are supposed to afflict the sons of perditions in Jesus' name. You won't be a partaker of strange plagues, because the Lord will keep you safe in Goshen, which is the city of exemption from evil in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release the blood of Jesus to flow in the bloodline of your family, to purge out any atom of generational sickness, ailment, disease, and illness. The blood of Jesus which speaks a better thing than the blood of Abel will flush out all demonic pattern of diseases and ailments in Jesus' name. God has sent his word to you, and this word will heal you and deliver you from all oppression in the name of Jesus. The word of the Lord will be like a fire shut up in your bones, which will consume all atom of sickness in your marrow. You are no more afflicted with sickness by the evil ones, as the stripes of Jesus has made you whole. I send the word of the Lord to comfort any member of your family that is heartbroken in Jesus' name. There is soulish healing for you and all the members of your family. I also decree over you that no one in your family will be oppressed by the wicked ones mentally in Jesus' name. I call forth the angel of the Lord to go ahead of you and any member of your family to wage war against anyone who is strategizing to put your body and mind under siege in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every name, I decree over you that anyone who has been assigned to remote control your body and mind will be exposed and roasted by the fire of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for hearing and answering our prayers. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Evil arrows are projections that are sent against the children of God to cause pain, discomfort, diseases, stagnation, and every other thing that is not God's will for his children. These arrows are often sent when you least expect them and when people are in their most vulnerable state. God wants you to dwell in safety and security, but the wicked ones do not want you to experience these. Arrows from the wicked ones are very deadly when they hit their victims. The wicked ones are very intentional when they send these arrows, those things that you have never seen before in your life but are presently manifesting in your life are never God's will for you. These things are attacks of the evil ones. Remember that the Bible says that whatever God has not planted in the lives of his children shall be uprooted. The word of God is in your mouth for you to uproot all the evil things in your life. Evil arrows can be seeds that have been planted in you at night while you are asleep. These seeds might take time to germinate because they have been programmed to germinate at a phase of your life when you are about to experience a new thing. Sometimes these arrows are sent to make you not see the goodness of the Lord. Anytime you are often complaining and lamenting, you should know that you might be under an attack from the enemies. Who you carry on your inside is far greater than all forms of attack that have been sent against you. The word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. There is no better time to pray against all the arrows of the wicked ones that the wicked ones have sent against you and the ones that are already subtly working against your life. Now is the time for us to pray together in faith, believing that we will receive the answer to our prayers. Join me as we pray together in faith. Father, we thank you because you will always keep us safe from all the evil devices of the wicked ones that have been sent against us and the members of our family. Thank you blessed Redeemer because you are for us, and no one can be against us. We magnify your name Lord Jesus, because the attacks of the evil ones that have placed us in a spot for a long time are coming to an end. Your word says that the wickedness of the wicked will come to an end. For this we are grateful to you because we have this assurance that all the wicked thoughts of the wicked ones towards us, and the members of our family are nullified. James 4 verse 7 says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I pray for you listening to this prayer that the Lord will help you to submit to him and also resist all the attacks of the devil, and as you do this, the devil and all his minions will flee away from you in the name of Jesus. The ability for you to be able to discern all the attacks of the wicked ones that have been sent against you is given to you. Your eyes of understanding are very sensitive to see and know when the wicked ones are about to attack you. 
you have a seeing eyes and a hearing ear to know where and how the arrows of the wicked ones will be sent against you and the members of your family in the name of Jesus. Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 12 says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. According to the word of God rightly stated above, you will put on the whole armor of God against all the attacks of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. The attacks of the evil ones will not be able to penetrate because you are shielded round about you with the whole armor that God has given to you. I decree over you that from today, you will be sober and vigilant against all the wiles of the evil ones that are sent against you. The adversaries that have gathered against you and your family are scattered by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. The arrows of sickness, death, stagnation, poverty, disgrace, and disappointment are all sent back to the sender in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Psalm 32 verse 7, You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. I ask that the Lord will be your hiding place against all the arrows of the wicked ones that are sent to afflict you in the name of Jesus. The Word of God made it clear to us that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and any time the righteous runs to it, they are assured of safety and security. This simply means that any time you call on the name of the Lord in critical moments, you won't be stranded or left destitute. The name of the Lord is the only place you can find refuge and solace. Do not forget that the help of men is vain, and also the Bible says in Psalm 127 verse 1b that except the Lord keeps the city. The watchman wakes, but in vain. You might have your ways of finding help, but they are temporary solace unlike that comes from God. This is the best time to seek refuge in God, because tomorrow might be a bit late. Today, we will be praying some strategic prayers to take refuge in God. We will do that together in faith. Join me as we pray together without any flinch of doubt. Lord Jesus, I thank you because you have given us a name that is above every other name. Your name is always a strong tower where we can find help, comfort, and solace whenever we are at a crossroads and when we are stranded. I bless your name, Father, because your name always gives us safety and security. I thank you, Father because you are always our first and last option anytime we need help. I pray that we won't first go to man for help before coming to you. I pray that you will always stand up for our help and come through for us when we need help critically and urgently in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I declare that we won't always use you when we need help. Rather, we will have a relationship with you before we ask for any kind of help in Jesus' name. Psalm 9 verse 9 says that the Lord is a refuge to all who are oppressed, and He is our ever-present help in times of trouble. Right now, I stand on the immutability of God's word, and I declare that the Lord will rescue us from those oppressing us, and will help us in troubled times in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you listening that you won't be stranded when it matters most in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will always place it in the hearts of men that you least expect to help you in Jesus' name. Just like how God commanded a raven to feed Elijah in the days of famine. That is the same way the Lord will command the most unlikely people to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be amazed by how God will come through for you this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalms 46 verse 1 says that God is our refuge and strength and our ever-present help in times of trouble. According to the word of God, I declare that the Lord will always be your refuge and strength in the good and bad times, and He will always remain your ever-present help in times of need, lack, and trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand on the word of God and decree that the Lord will keep you safe from all the traps and pits that the enemies have placed for you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I decree that you are safe and secured from the works and devices of the enemies gathered against you, and that your soul have escaped like a bird from the snares of the fowlers in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will send you help from the sanctuary according to the word of God in Psalm 20 verse 1. I pray that the Lord will send you help suddenly when you least expect it in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that anyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved and will also not be ashamed. Because of God's word, I decree that as you call on the name of the Lord today, you will be safe from the entrapment of the wicked ones, and you will not be put to shame because the Lord will arise and help you no matter how pressing the situation might be in Jesus' name. According to the word of God in Psalm 16 verse 1, which says, Keep me safe, O Lord. For in you do I take refuge. I pray that the Lord will keep you safe from every harm because you take refuge in him in the name of Jesus. I decree that henceforth, your going out and coming in are sanctified in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will not fall prey to the hands of evil miscreants who go about perpetuating evil. I pray that the angels of the Lord will bear you up in their hands and prevent you from any kind of danger that will cut short your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Word of God declares that healing belongs to His children. You were healed over 2,000 years ago. However, the devil and his cohorts seek to rob you of this healing. Therefore, you must enforce the healing granted to you by Jesus Christ. Remember, you were delivered from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light when you were converted. Today, we will pray for the perfection and protection of your healing and deliverance against any tampering by the forces of darkness. Matthew 16 verses 19 proclaims that you hold the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Job 22:28 assures us that whatever we decree on earth will be established, and light will shine upon our paths. Use the word of God to fight the good fight of faith and triumph over the powers of darkness. Let us pray. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that all the powers of darkness that will not make you walk in divine health are destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 verse 6 Behold, I will bring them health and healing, and I will heal them and reveal to them prosperity and security. According to the word of God, I decree over you that the Lord will heal and bring you health and healing in your body and soul, and the Lord will reveal to you abundance and security in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you are healed in your body and soul. I pray for you that the Word of God will heal you completely and deliver you from demonic oppression in the name of Jesus. The prayers that you will pray henceforth for the sick ones around you will produce results, and you will use the God kind of faith to heal all manner of sickness in the name of Jesus. Psalms 41 verse 3 says the Lord will restore you to health. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the Lord will restore to you health in those areas that you are undergoing ill health in the name of Jesus. And I also pray for you that the Lord will also heal members of your family that are sick in their body in the name of Jesus. Your heart will always be joyful and it will not be crushed in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you to be focused on him when the pain is overwhelming. He will help you to be faithful and see the good and blessings surrounding you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will strengthen your mind, heart, and body in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will guide you in peace and comfort in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will seek the Lord and as you do that he will deliver you from all your fears in the name of Jesus. As you worship the Lord your God, the Lord will bless your bread and water in the name of Jesus. As you cry out to the Lord anytime you are troubled, he will heal and deliver you from all your distress in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Exodus 14, verse 4 that the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. Since the Lord has always been faithful, he will establish you and guard you against the evil one by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that from today, you will submit to God. You will resist the devil. And as you do this, 
The devil will flee from you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will rescue you from trials because you are the godly, and he will keep the unrighteous under punishment until the day of judgment in the name of Jesus. The Lord will plead your cause against them that strive with you in the name of Jesus. You are born of God. You overcome the world because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Sin will no longer be master over you because you are not under the law but under grace. You are now a slave to righteousness in Jesus' name. I decree that the wicked ones will fall into the pits and traps they have placed for you to fall into in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I pray that the blood of Jesus will deliver you from the agenda of the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that the Lord will preserve your soul from the teeth of the lions, and he will keep you from being hurt by the powers of darkness in Jesus' name. You will dwell in the secret place of the Most, and you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty always. The Lord will be your shield and buckler against the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Evil words are words that are spoken against God's children. They are often said to afflict, suppress and oppress the victim. The words of the wicked ones can be nullified by the power in the blood of Jesus. The word of God says that you will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established unto you and light will shine upon your path. The power to say anything, and it will be a law is in your mouth. Remember that the Bible says that life and death are in the power of your tongue. You can say what you want for yourself, and also cancel out all the negative words of the wicked ones against you. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says that any tongue that rises in judgment against you, you should condemn. The words of the evil ones spoken against you are never of good. Only God's promises and words are ever for your good. When Ahab told Elijah that he was the one troubling Israel, Elijah didn't swallow those words hook, line, and sinker. Rather, he rejected those words and told Ahab the truth. You have to stand on the word of God to cancel out all the plans of the wicked ones. Evil words might include curses, spells and incantations that have been said over you that are meant to put you in bondage and affliction. What are those words that have been said against you by the wicked ones in the past? Stand on the victory that you have been given in Christ Jesus to cancel out those words. You can also renounce and nullify all negative words that you might have spoken against yourself in the past due to negligence or ignorance on your part. The ability to cancel out all negative words is right inside of you. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. This is the time to bring down all the works of darkness against you and your family. Now is the perfect time to nullify all the words that are working against the will of God for you. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, Lord we thank you because you have delivered us from all forms of affliction and oppression. Your word says that affliction will never rise again the second time. For this, we are giving you the praise and glory for being a loving and caring Father who has our best interests at heart. Blessed be your mighty and holy name, Lord Jesus. We give you the praise, Lord, because today marks an end to all the words that are working contrary to your will for us and our families. You are highly lifted and exalted King of glory. Thank you, Father, because we have been given the victory already against all the plans of the powers of darkness. By the power in the name of Jesus, I come against all the words that have placed you in captivity. I decree that all the words that have been spoken by the powers of darkness against you, and the members of your family become null and void. The fire of the Lord is destroying all the chains that have placed you in bondage due to the negative words that have been spoken against you and the members of your family. In the name above every other name, I decree that the agenda of the wicked one will never see the light of the day in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Luke 10 verse 19 that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you. According to the word of God, I decree that you begin to exercise the authority that you have been given in the name of Jesus to bring down all the devices of the wicked ones against you and your family in Jesus' name. I decree that all the altars of wickedness that have been erected over you 
and the members of your family to continually send evil words against you are brought down by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I also pray that the sword of the Lord falls on the wicked priests who are servicing these altars in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 37 that in all of these things, you are more than a conqueror through him who first loved you. According to the word of the Lord, I decree over you that you have overcome all the words of the wicked against you and the members of your family. These words hold no water against you in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57 says, Thanks be to God, who gives us the victory in Christ. I hereby stand on the word of God and declare over you that you have the victory in Christ against all the powers of darkness that are doing all their best to speak evil against you in the name of Jesus. Just like how God made Balaam to bless the children of Israel after he was assigned by Balak to curse the children of Israel, that is the same way all the wicked ones will begin to bless you when they mean to curse you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The devil puts most people on a spot and in captivity through certain habits that are ungodly and unclean. Most times, these dirty and ungodly habits are sponsored by demonic powers, whose main agenda is to make their captives go around in a circle. Some of these dirty habits are pornography, masturbation, drug abuse, sexual addiction, alcoholic addiction, and so on. You can get free from these addictions when you come to Jesus and believe that he can set you free from any addiction you might be suffering from. The Word of God says in Romans 12 verse 11 that those that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. We will be engaging the name of Jesus to set you or any member of your family that is held captive by any form of addiction. Let us pray together in faith, believing that our prayers will be answered. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you are loosed from the hold of demonic oppression and suppression. The Word of God says in Matthew 11 verse 28 that all that are labored and heavily burdened should go to Christ, and they will find rest. I pray for any of your loved ones that are suffering from any kind of addiction that they will receive the enablement to drop their addiction at the feet of Jesus, and in return they will find peace in Jesus' name. I release any of your loved ones that has been held captive by any form of addiction in the name of Jesus. I release you or any member of your family that is being held captive in the prison of sexual addiction in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 17 verse 14 says, Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. I pray for you that the Lord will heal you or any of your loved one that is suffering from addiction in Jesus' name. I pull you out from the pit of addiction that has kept you or any member of your family in the valley in Jesus' name. The Lord will shine his light on hidden addiction in your life or any member of your family in the name of Jesus. You will not be depressed because you feel that you cannot overcome the addiction you are experiencing. I pray for you that the word of God will help you and any of your loved ones being addicted to break free from any form of addiction by the power in the name of Jesus. I set you free from the hold of the powers of darkness that want to keep you on one spot through bad habits that are gradually turning into addiction. In the name of Jesus I disengage you or your loved one from evil communication that is plunging you deeper into the pit of addiction. The love of God will be shed abroad in your heart and will release you from the hold of addiction in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 verse 6, Behold, I will bring to it health and healing, and I will heal them, and I will reveal to them an abundance of peace and truth. Any member of your family that is addicted to pornography, masturbation, alcohol, and any other evil addiction will be healed by the Lord, and the Lord will give them abundance of peace in the name of Jesus. I decree that your destiny will not be truncated by any form of negative addiction in the name of Jesus. You will return to the Lord, and the Lord will restore twice to you that which you have lost due to negative addiction in the name of Jesus. You receive the grace to walk in total freedom over any form of addiction in the name of Jesus. The works of the flesh will be subdued in the life of any of your loved ones that are suffering from negative addictions in Jesus' name. You are led always by the Spirit of God and not the spirit of lust in the name of Jesus. 
I pray that any of your loved ones that are addicted in a negative way will realize that they need the help of God to come out of the addiction they are suffering from in the name of Jesus. I bind all foul spirits that are promoting pornography, masturbation, alcoholism, drug and substance abuse, and other forms of addiction in the lives of your loved ones in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The kingdom of darkness is highly organized and strategic, and they are not casual about their operations. We might be thinking that the devil is a fool, but he is not because he is smart and very cunning. He has been here before us, and he kind of understands every pattern and cycle of men because he has an ability to observe and read between the lines. The only thing that can make you beat the devil to his own game any day any time is when you have the Holy Spirit working on your inside. The Word of God made it clear to us in Ephesians 6 verses 12 to 13. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This means that the powers of darkness are organized, and they operate to frustrate the will of the Lord for God's children. The Word of God says that anything you say on earth shall be established to you, and light will shine upon your path. Foul spritz are demonic powers that have been assigned to afflict and oppress the lives of God's people. Foul spirits do not give up on attacking people's finance, health, family, and other sensitive areas of people's lives. Today, we will be joining our faith together to pray against the gathering of all foul spirits that are gathered to afflict us and our families. We have the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the devices of the wicked ones. Let us pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for making us victorious over all the powers of the enemies that are gathered against us. We bless your name, Lord, because you are for us and never against us. Thank you because you will always make us have dominion in all areas. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. We bless your name, Lord, because no matter the number of foul spirits that have been assigned to make our family afflicted, you will always make us come out victorious in your name. Glory be to your name, Lord Jesus. We know that you will put foul spirits to flight in seven ways that are come against us in one way. For this reason we are saying thank you Lord Jesus. Father, we are saying thank you because all the operations of foul spirits operating subtly in our families are coming to an end right now. Glory be to your name because the weapons of foul spirits are destroyed right now. We give you the praise Lord Jesus because no familiar spirit will be able to take possession of the minds of the members of our families. Blessed be your name, Lord Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray over everyone under the sound of my voice, that any foul spirit that has been assigned to afflict the members of your family with any kind of sickness is brought to judgment in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the gathering of witches and wizards that are using familiar spirits to manipulate and remote control your lives and the members of your family are scattered and destroyed. The Lord is sending his arrows and lightning to scatter all the gatherings of the wicked ones that have been assigned to put your lives in disarray in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the fire of the Lord is exposing and consuming all the devices of the wicked ones that have been assigned to keep you on a spot for long. I pray for you that your senses of discernment are heightened for you to be able to discern the activities of the powers of darkness that are gathered against you in Jesus' name. I say that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved you. The power in the blood of Jesus is wiping away all the traces of the activities of the evil ones that are subtly operating in your lives. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the fire of the Lord is exposing all the dark corners in your home where foul spirits are having a legal hold in your lives. The light of the Lord is shining in your home and the dark spirits that have been subtly operating in your home are destroyed in the most powerful and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you decree with your mouth becomes a law as a child of God. You have the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The devil and his minions are not as powerful as you are. 
You have the one who is called the Omnipotent on your inside, and by this, you are more powerful than any force on earth. The word of God also says that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You are not a pawn to the attacks of demonic forces, because you are more than a conqueror through Christ, who first loved you. The devil and his hirelings never rest on their oars to attack the children of God. This is the foremost reason why you should not be casual about dismantling the powers of darkness that are warring against you. We will be praying today against all unclean spirits that are subtly in operation in your lives and families. I will be praying over you, so you say Amen wherever you are. Join me as we pray together in faith. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the powers of darkness that are tormenting and oppressing any of your loved ones are exposed and consumed right now. I decree that all the confederacy of evil forces that are sending projections against you and your loved ones are scattered right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that any evil mark that has been placed upon you or any of your loved ones is erased right now by the blood of Jesus. I decree that no one will trouble you because you bear upon yourself the mark of Christ. The word of God made it clear to us that he that is joined to Christ is one body, and he that is joined to a harlot is also one body. According to the word of God, I decree over you that since you have been joined with Christ the day that you became a new creature, you won't have any affiliation with the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. You have no business whatsoever with the association of darkness. From today, I pray for you that you will continually abide under the shadow of the Almighty and you will dwell in his secret place. No unclean spirit will try to snatch you away from the love of God. You will always run to safety in the tower of the Lord in Jesus' name. I decree that any unclean spirit that is whispering evil things that will contaminate your soul is silenced right now. I pray for you that you will not be susceptible to the attacks of the wicked ones round about you. I also pray for you that any evil voice that has been echoing in your subconscious mind that is telling you to take away your life is muted this very minute in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray that the hand of the Lord will be terrible upon all the dark forces antagonizing the will of God from coming to fruition in your life and family. You will know the will of God per time and season for your life, and no unclean spirit will prevent you from walking in God's divine plan for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you according to God's word in Psalm 35 verse, one which says that the Lord will plead our cause with them that strive with us. He will fight against those who fight against us. Because of God's word, I pray for you that the Lord will plead your cause against the powers of the enemies who have been assigned to frustrate your effort and make you wander about like a vagabond. Anyone who says that you will labor in vain is brought to judgment right now in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I destroy the powers of the emptiers who are bent on stealing all the good things that have been made available for you and your family. I render their powers impotent and they won't be able to hurt you in the name of Jesus. Right now I bring to judgment all the powers that have been assigned to stop you at the edge of your breakthrough. I destroy that near success syndrome that is at work in your life and family in Jesus' name. You will not be cut short at the verge of your huge testimony. I pray for you that any dark force that has been assigned to put songs of dirge on your lips, rather than songs of joy is consumed by the fire of the Lord. You will always have a new song of goodness to sing all the days of your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The devil and his cohorts often do their best to attack you via dreams. Dreams are an extension of you in the realm of the spirit. God sometimes speaks to us through dreams when we are caught up in so many activities, which often prevents us from hearing the voice of God. The word of God makes it known to us that the voice of God resounds upon many waters. It simply means that God always ensure that he reiterates his words clearly to his people without mincing words. One thing the devil and his agents thrive on doing is distorting the voice of God via dreams. This is one of the reasons why your spirit must be attuned to the voice of God to be able to distinguish between the voice of God and the voice of the devil and also your voice. 
Your dreams have an important role in playing, in relaying frequencies of the spirit back to you. You will often discern something that is not right in your life via dreams. E.g. Dreams like going back to the school you graduated from and receding for an exam, having a mournful look in the dream, crying bitterly in the dream, and so on shows that there is a strange pattern in your life you must put to an end. Today, we will be coming against all the evil dreams that are stumbling blocks between you and your destiny in the name of Jesus. As we pray now, we will do that together with all fervor and sincerity. Let us pray. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the forces of darkness that are warring against you and your God-given destiny are rendered useless right now. I pray for you that an end has come to demonic oppression through dreams by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree in the name that is above every other name that all the dreams that have been recurring over time in your life, which have put your life under siege are ending right now, and you won't have those dreams anymore. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you that all evil imaginations that have exalted their heads through dreams above the knowledge of God in your family and life are brought under subjection in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that only Jesus will reign supreme over your dream life. Every time you lay down to rest, you won't have any cause to sorrow through dreams. You will have sweet dreams at night when you sleep. I send the fire of God to consume all the powers of darkness that have connived to manipulate your dreams in the name of Jesus. The name of the Lord will be your strong tower any time you want to sleep. You will not be scared by the terror that walks by night, nor for the pestilence that works in darkness. The Lord will build a wall of fire around you and your family members every time you lay down to rest in the name of Jesus. I proclaim over you that no one will hurt you at night when you sleep in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that any demonic projection that is sent against you and your loved ones while you are asleep is rendered impotent and useless this very minute. I send back all the arrows that are shut against you while you are asleep in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that any demonic soul tie you might be sharing with dark forces due to demonic manipulation, is severed right now without any delay. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family, and I use the blood of Jesus to wipe any evil handwriting that has been written against you in your dream by the power in the name of Jesus. I send the arrows of God to scatter all the confederacy of the wicked ones that are gathered to manipulate your dream life by the power in the name of Jesus. The gathering of the wicked ones is discomfited right now, wherever they are to confuse your life by manipulating you through dreams in Jesus' name. The banner of the Lord is raised high as you lay down to sleep every night. The angel of the Lord will always keep watch over you and your household as you all sleep every night in the name of Jesus. I decree an end to demonic siege, stagnation, oppression, manipulation and affliction that have been happening to you that came as a result of evil dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. You will experience speed instead of delay and progress instead of stagnation. I pray for you that today marks an end to demonic influence in your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The main aim of the devil and his minions is to kill, steal and destroy. They derive utmost pleasure in doing these. The devil and his hosts are not resting on their oars to wreak havoc on the children of men. They hate men so much because they know that God created men in his image, unlike them who were made from many elements. You should be aware that you cannot overcome the powers of darkness with your intellect, ideas, skills and mundane weapons. The word of God has made it clear to us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty enough to pull down strongholds. All demonic onslaughts against you and your family are ending this season in Jesus' name. Today, we will be praying against all the activities of the wicked ones against us and our families. Let us pray together in the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against all the powers of darkness that have gathered against you and your family. I decree that all the agendas of the wicked ones aimed at decapacitating the will of God, for you are rendered null and void this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name above every other name, 
I decree that all the attacks of the evil ones against any of your loved ones, designed to frustrate their finances, marriage, academics, business and other areas of their lives, are falling to the ground like a pack of cards. I stand in the victory that we have been given over 2,000 years ago in Christ Jesus and decree that the will of the Lord will trump over the works of darkness in your lives and families in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of the resurrection power at work in you, I decree that all the good things that the devil and his minions have made to die are jerking back to life this instant in the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of Christ will begin to raise back all the hidden virtues that are lying dormant and fallow in your lives in Jesus' name. I stand in the confidence of God's word and decree that all the plots of the wicked ones to cut short your life and the lives of your loved ones are exposed right now and annulled in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that not one of your loved ones will die prematurely. You will live long to fulfill your glorious destinies in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises in judgment against you, you should condemn. I, therefore, stand in solidarity with God's word and decree that all the pieces of machinery of the wicked ones targeted at you and your loved ones are packing up this very minute in Jesus' name. I also condemn all the evil tongues that have been speaking negative things against your life. I decree that these tongues are muted right now, and they won't be able to speak again in Jesus' name. Exodus 14 verse 14 says that the Lord will fight for you, and you will hold your peace. The word of God is true and never fails. I hereby invite the host of heaven to go ahead of you and begin to war against all the powers of darkness that are bent on frustrating your efforts, and do not want you to eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. Just like how Pharaoh and his hosts were all drowned in the Red Sea after they made up their minds to pursue the children of Israel. That is the same way all the hosts of the powers of darkness that are bent on chasing you are drowned in the flood of the Lord of hosts in Jesus' name. Not one of them will escape as they will all be drowned. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all forms of attack against the will of God from being manifested and enforced in your life are decapacitated and foiled right now. I decree that the will of God will begin to emerge and manifest in all areas of your life and family in the name of Jesus, in the name that is above every other name. I decree that the Egyptians you saw yesterday you will see no more. You will ride upon the heads of your enemies and triumph over them in the authority and victory that we have been given in Christ Jesus. Just like in the times of old where after every battle, the children of Israel always plundered the spoils of the enemies. That is the same way you are taking possession of the hidden treasures of darkness that the enemies came with to fight against you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Demonic projections are attacks of dark powers against you. They can be arrows of sickness, untimely death, accident, pain, misery, poverty, or diseases. The devil is never tired of doing God's people wicked. That is his forte. This is why the Bible warns us to be sober and vigilant, because the devil who is our adversary is going about looking for who to devour. There are some things that you might have noticed which are going wrong in your life and family. These things are caused by demonic projections that the powers of darkness have programmed. The Word of God made it clear to us in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against us, we should condemn. The best thing to do is to come against these projections by using the word of God. Don't forget that you will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. Who will decree a thing when the Lord has not said it? The Almighty is on your side and knowing this, you should be sure that you are not alone. He has promised that he will fight for you and you will hold your peace no one can hurt you because you are the apple of God's eye. There is a part you need to play anyway. It is simply speaking the word of God against all the plans and devices of the wicked ones. What are the things that you feel are going wrong in your family? Stand on your watch and command those things to turn back to normal. Do not fret because you have not been given the spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind. No matter the numbers that are gathered against you, they cannot be more than who is on your inside.
The arrows of the wicked ones targeted at you, and your family will never hit their mark. It is time to pray against any demonic projection that has been sent against you and your family. Remember to pray in faith, knowing that you will receive answers to your prayers. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, we thank you Father for making us more than conquerors through you who first loved us. Blessed be your name Lord Jesus because you have rescued us from the traps and pits of the wicked ones. Thank you because the enemies that will come against us in one way, they will flee before us in seven ways. We say a big thank you because no matter the numbers that are gathered against us, they will always flee before us in seven ways. Thank you Lord Jesus because all the arrows that are shot against us and our families are going back to the sender. Thank you, Father, because your word says in Ephesians 6 verses 11 to 13, Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Thank you Lord Jesus because you have given us your whole armor, and by this, we are immune to the attacks of the wicked ones. Glory be to your holy name Lord Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I stand on the word of God, and I decree that all the powers of darkness that are gathered against you and your family will flee before you in seven ways. The word of God says in James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. According to the word of God, I pray that the Lord is giving you the ability to submit to him, and as you do this, all the wicked ones who are gathered against you shall flee before your very eye in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord is building a wall of defense around you and your family this instant, and will make you and your family immune to the attacks of the wicked ones who are gathered against you and your family. I ask that the Lord will reveal his judgment against all the workers of iniquity who have sworn to make life unbearable for you and your loved one. His wrath will be kindled upon all the forces of darkness who are subtly and obviously in operation your family in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 1 to 3 says, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. According to the word of God, I declare over you that you will abide under the secret place of the Most High, and you will abide under his shadow, and as you do this, you will be free from all the traps and pits that the wicked ones have set for you. The Lord will deliver you from the deadly pestilence that is lurking around you, and all the arrows that have been shut against you won't touch you, because the Lord is your shield and buckler. Deuteronomy 28 verse 7 says, The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. According to the word of the Lord, I pray for you that the Lord will cause all the enemies who are gathered against you to be defeated before your very eyes. The Lord is fighting for you, and you are holding your peace against all the wicked ones who are gathered against you and your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. We cannot use normal human weapons and our intellect to conquer the devices of the wicked ones. You need to be very alert because the devil does not rest. He is roaming to and fro like a roaring lion looking for whom he might devour. Strongholds are satanic structures that are put in place by dark forces to manipulate the lives of their ignorant victims. These strongholds can be found in families, communities, states, and a nation as a whole. The devil is not omnipresent, so he assigns his agents to strategic places to attack the children of men. The devil hates men, so he will do anything within his power and ability to afflict them. This is why you must stand your ground by coming against the devil 
and all his agents. Luke 10 verse 19 says that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the wicked ones, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You have the authority to dismantle all the strongholds of the wicked ones that have been set up against you and your family. Join me as we pray against all the strongholds of the wicked ones. Let us pray. Father in the name of Jesus, I come in your name against all the satanic strongholds that the wicked ones are using to put your children's lives on a standstill and to also afflict them. I use the name of Jesus to pull down all the strongholds of the powers of darkness that are working contrary to the will of God for them and their families. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the powers of darkness that have been assigned to manipulate and control their families are brought under subjection. I decree that all the wicked ones that are bent on frustrating the will of God over the lives of anyone listening to me today are consumed right now. You won't be manipulated to do what you don't want to do in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the angel of the Lord will destroy every satanic stronghold that is in operation in your environment and family. I pray that these angels will bring down these groves and altars that are being used to send projections at you and your family in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Lord will consume all the wicked ones who are planning to bring down God's plan from coming to fruition in your life and family. The word of God says in Exodus 14 verse 14 that the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. According to God's word, I decree over you that the Lord will send his fire to roast all demonic strongholds that have been built to monitor your progress and that of your family. The Lord will send the hosts of heaven to war against any dark force that is building an altar to make life unbearable for you and your family in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the Lord will make the words of your mouth fire and the wicked ones wood, and the fire from your mouth will consume all the wicked ones who are gathered to cut short your life through their dark projections in the name of Jesus. Your words become law from today and anything you pronounce against the wicked ones will manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 25 verse 11 says, God will bring down their pride despite the cleverness of their hands. He will bring down your high fortified walls and lay them low. He will bring them down to the ground, to the very dust. According to God's word, I decree that the Lord will bring down the pride of the wicked ones and will disappoint the cleverness of the wicked ones' hands. The wicked one's plan is foiled over your life and family in the mighty name of Jesus. According to the word of the Lord in James 4 verse 7, which says that you should submit to God and resist the devil. Doing these will make the devil flee away from you. I pray for you that you will learn to submit to the will of the Lord for you and resist the devil. And as you do them the Lord will make you impermeable to the devil's attacks in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The power to dispel demonic forces lies inside of you. Do not forget that the Bible says that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Also, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Your words are powerful, and they are not just ordinary words. The devil and his cohorts cannot hurt you because you have authority over him and his hosts. Being afraid of what the wicked ones will do against you is an aberration as a child of God. You have not been given the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. All the forces of darkness that are lined up to attack you will fall for your sake if you can just take your place in Christ. No matter the numbers that are gathered against you, they cannot defeat you because you have been made more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved you. What is that thing that you feel is going wrong in your family? Now is the best time to command that thing that is lifting its head above the knowledge of God to be brought under subjection. We will be casting out all demonic forces that are working to frustrate the will of God for us and our families, and we do that together in faith. Join me as we pray together. Lord Jesus, we say a big thank you for giving us the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies. Thank you because you have opened our eyes for us to know who you have made us in you. 
Thank you, Lord, because all the gathering of the wicked ones who are plotting to make our lives a mess are brought to judgment. We give you the praise because what the enemies are doing against us can never outweigh the good things that you have started in our lives. Blessed be your mighty and holy name, Lord Jesus. We say a big thank you to your wonderful name, Lord. Father, we are still standing on the premises of your love for us to give you the praise for all the good and wonderful things that you have started in our lives, which no demonic power can withstand. We give you the praise because your promises for us are yea and amen in your name. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. We are sincerely grateful, Lord Jesus. There is no one to be compared to your holy and majestic name, Lord. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that all the powers of darkness that come against you in one way will flee before you in seven ways. I pray for you to be more than conquerors over all the schemes and agendas of the wicked ones who have been assigned to make your lives a living hell. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that anyone who has sworn to neither eat nor drink until they end your lives is exposed and destroyed right now. They will never escape the judgment of the Lord. The Lord is fighting for you, and you are holding your peace in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in 1 John 4 verse 4 that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I declare that you overcome all the wicked ones who have surrounded you to put you to shame in the name of Jesus. You are more than overcomers, and I decree that all the wicked ones who are subtly operating in your families and the environment that you live in be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I engage the ministry of angels to war against all the wicked ones who have sworn to make life unbearable for you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus. Any pit that the wicked ones have dug for you to fall into is being fallen into by the ones who dug them. The word of God says in Matthew 18 verse 18 that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. By reason of the word of God, I decree that all the forces of darkness who have been assigned to put you and your families to shame are exposed right now in the name of Jesus. I stand and say that the wicked ones who are manipulating your family subtly and obviously are exposed and brought to judgment. No demonic force will be able to hurt or harm any of your loved ones because the Lord has built a wall of defense around you in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Evil patterns are repeated negative cycles in the life of a person. They often place that person in a siege. There are many people who are experiencing evil patterns in their lives, but they often wave them aside thinking it will soon stop or that they are normal. Evil patterns can reoccur again and again in several generations if no one stands up and breaks them. The Word of God made it clear to us that affliction will never rise again the second time. You might have noticed that some things are not just right in your life and family. If you have, please do not ignore them and let them pass. It is the Spirit of God that is telling you that you should rise as an intercessor to break those patterns. No matter how long those evil patterns might have lingered, they can give way. You have been given the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. I know one thing for sure, and that thing is that patterns can be broken. No matter how ancient they might be, these patterns can never be as ancient as the ancient of days who created time, stepped into time, and also stepped out of time. And that is why he is referred to as the God who is, who was, and who is to come. You can do well by remembering things that you have observed in the past, but ignored due to your negligence. You need to also know that evil patterns are very stubborn and are passed from one generation to another. If you do not arise as a watchman and as an intercessor, the pattern might linger down to your children's generation. The word of God, the name of Jesus, and the blood of Jesus have been given to you as weapons to break and end all satanic patterns that have afflicted and put you and the members of your family in bondage. I guess you are ready to break all evil patterns in your life and family this instant. You have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Use that authority to end all patterns right now. Join me as we pray. Father Lord, we thank you for giving us the authority to trample upon all the powers of darkness. Thank you Father because we are exercising that authority already. 
Blessed be your mighty and holy name, Lord Jesus. We give you the praise because the plans of the wicked ones today are nullified by the power in your blood. We know that all forms of affliction are coming to an end today in our lives and the members of our family. The affliction that we have entered into willfully due to the ignorance of our parents is broken. We are saying a big thank you, Father. You alone deserve all the praise and glory, Lord Jesus. There is no one to be compared to you. We give you the praise, Lord Jesus, because you are helping us bring down all altars that are being used to affect evil patterns in our lives and families. We don't have any other thing to do other than to say thank Father. In the name above every name, I decree that all patterns that have placed you on a spot are broken right now by the power in the blood of Jesus. I call down the fire of the Lord to consume all the forces of darkness that are associated with all the negative patterns that are manifesting themselves in your life. I pray for you that today the Lord is rescuing you from the mouth of the lions who have sworn that they will consume you and the members of your family in Jesus' name. The Word of God says in Matthew 18 verse 18 that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. With the authority that has been given to me, I bind all the forces of darkness that are behind all negative patterns that are happening in your life and family in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Lord is exposing all the negative patterns to you, and as they are being exposed, you will stand in the authority that you have been given against all the patterns that have besieged you and the members of your family in Jesus' name. The Word of God says in Psalm 34 verse 19 that many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. I pray for you that all forms of affliction that are caused by enemies within and without are ending right now by the power in the name of Jesus. The Lord is breaking all the negative patterns that have taken possession of your family and your life. I pray that the blood of Jesus rescues you from all the negative patterns that have placed your life in captivity and are oppressing you. The Word of God says that the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. I therefore pray that all the negative patterns that have been finding expression in your lineage in the form of strange sicknesses, untimely death, poverty, recurrent disappointment, misfortune, barrenness, and so on are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The thoughts of the wicked ones against you are never of good. They want a worse to happen to you and will gloat when they see you hit rock bottom. The wicked ones often strategize to attack the will of God from manifesting in your life. The main agenda of the wicked ones is to steal, kill, and destroy. They won't rest on their oars in ensuring that they fulfill their plans. This is why as a child of God, you must be on your feet and your watch to resist the devil and his minions. Remember that the devil is going about like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. You should also resist the devil in faith by putting on the whole armor of God to be able to withstand the wiles and attacks of the wicked ones. God's plan for you can be delayed if you don't enforce it in the place of prayer and fasting, and also standing you watch to thwart the plans of the wicked ones. Let us pray together against all the plans of the wicked ones who are bent on frustrating the will of God for you and your family. In the name that is above every other name I decree over you that the fire of the Lord will expose all the wicked ones whose plan is to frustrate the will of God from coming to fruition in your life and family. I pray that the wicked ones will be brought out under the open and disgraced in Jesus' name. The Word of God in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says that the thoughts of God for you are of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. Since the word of God never lie and fail, I pray that all the good thoughts of God for you and your family will come to pass right now whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not in the name of Jesus. I pray right now that you will be discerning to be able to differentiate between God's plan, your plans and the devil's own. As you are able to discern the perfect will of God for you, and your family will begin to manifest in all areas. I further pray for you that the counsel of God will stand fast and will never be replaced by the ones of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. The word of God says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not. In the name that is above every other name, 
I declare over you that as you call on the Lord today, He will answer you and show you the great things He has in store for you which you do not know or have thought of. And as He reveals these plans to you, you will walk in them and enforce them to come to manifestation in the name of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 9 to 11 says that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and neither has it entered into the hearts of men the good things that God has in store for his children. By reason of God's word, I pray for you that all the good things that God has kept for you, which are far above your reasoning and imagination, and even more than the comprehension of men, will become flesh in the name of Jesus. The Lord's plan for you and your family will begin to see the light of the day from now in the very presence of the wicked ones. I send down the rain of fire on the heads of the wicked ones who are orchestrating your downfall and that of any member of your family. The wicked ones are exposed right now and brought to judgment. None of them will escape the fire of judgment in Jesus' name. In the name that is above every other name, I stand in the authority that I have been given and I decree that anyone who has sworn that until they die, they won't rest until they frustrate the will of God from seeing the light of the day, are exposed under the light of the Lord, and are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sometimes, you will hear the news that someone normal yesterday suddenly is mentally unstable the next day. Science might come with its explanation as to why and how it happened, but the truth is, that some occurrences can never be explained by normal human understanding and by science. It can only be explained and seen by the lens of the Spirit. Remember that the Word of God says that the natural man can never be able to receive the things of the Spirit, and neither can they understand them because they are spiritually discerned. You don't have to start looking for answers to some strange occurrences happening in your life and family in the world. You have to go back to the Father of all spirits and seek answers to these problems. The Word of God says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3 that you should call on the Lord in the day of trouble. He will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. When you are troubled, and it looks like there are no solutions to these problems, you should know that some of these problems might be orchestrated by the powers of darkness to make you deny your trust and confidence in God. The attacks of the wicked ones are not supposed to hit you, but there are chances that they can hit you if you are not watchful in the place of prayers and study of the word. The Bible says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rises in judgment against you should be condemned by you. It is your responsibility as a child of God to come against all the attacks of the wicked ones that are orchestrated against you and your loved ones. If you do stand against these attacks, the sad truth is that these attacks might continue. God, who is a loving father, does not like seeing his children being afflicted, but he won't do anything if his children do not by themselves come against these attacks. Now is the best time to pray against all the attacks of the wicked ones against you and the members of your family. Join me as we pray together in faith. Lord Jesus, we thank you because even before we call on your name, you know what we want to ask from you, and you have given us free access to your presence without feeling hurt or condemned. Thank you because we will receive the answers to all our prayers today. We won't go back the same way we came today to this place. Thank you blessed Redeemer because you have given us the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. We say a big thank you because with you on our side. We leap over a wall, and we run through a troop of the wicked ones that have come against us, and the members of our family. We give you the praise because affliction will never rise again the second time in our lives. Father, we further give you the praise because today marks an end to all forms of demonic attacks of the wicked ones against us and the members of our family. Blessed be your mighty and holy name, Lord Jesus. We can never be caught unaware by the devices of the evil ones that they have set against us and our families. You are highly lifted and exalted above the heavens and the earth. For this Lord, we have no other thing to say other than to say a big thank you to your holy and majestic name Lord. In the name above all other names, I decree that the pieces of machinery of the workers of iniquity that are being used to attack you and your family in whatever way at all are destroyed by the fire of the Lord. 
1 John 4 verse 4 says, Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. According to the word of the Lord, I declare that you have overcome all the attacks of the wicked ones that have been orchestrated against you and the members of your family because the greater one lives on your inside. You and every one of your loved ones will no longer be susceptible to the plots and attacks of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Luke 10 verse 19 that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Because the word of the Lord that is infallible, I decree that you will begin to exercise your God-given authority over all the forces of darkness that are gathered to attack you and any one of your family in the name of Jesus. Psalm 34 verse 17 says, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. I pray that any time you cry to the Lord to rescue you or any one of your loved ones, the Lord will arise and deliver you from your troubles in the name of Jesus. I stand on the authority that I have been given in the name of Jesus and decree that all the seeds of evil attacks that have been subtly planted in your family are uprooted right now. The Lord is building a wall of defense around you and your family against the attacks that have been sent against you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Our God is not only a merciful God, He is also a consuming fire. He is a consuming fire to those who are His enemies. I know for sure that you are not an enemy of God, and since you are not an enemy of God, you have the liberty to call down the fire of God on the heads of your enemies who are ganged up against you. Lest you might have forgotten, your enemies are also God's enemies. The word of God says that you will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your paths. Just like how Elijah called down fire on the soldiers who were sent to arrest him, you too can also do the same. You can rain down God's judgment on the heads of your enemies today. Do not do that with fear in your heart. Luke 10 verse 19 says that you have been given the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now is the best time to rain down God's wrath on your enemies who have sworn that they will make life unbearable for you and your family. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, we thank you Lord that even before we call on your name, you have heard us, and if you have heard us, we have the assurance that the petitions of our hearts are granted. We know that our prayers will never fall to the ground. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you listening to the sound of my voice, that the fire of the Lord will rain down on the heads of the wicked ones who have gathered to make life meaningless for you and your loved ones. I decree the wrath of God to pour on your enemies who are determined to make life unbearable for you in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree and declare that the judgment of the Lord will rain down like fire and brimstone on the heads of household wickedness, who have been making life unpleasant for you and your loved ones. This very minute, I declare that wherever your enemies are gathered, the rain of fire will scatter their gathering in the name of Jesus. Matthew 18 verse 18 says that whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I hereby stand in the assurance of God's unfailing word and decree that the hand of the Lord will do terrible things to your enemies who have conspired together to make you go around in circles in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 35 verse 1 that the Lord will plead your cause with them who are striving against you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the Lord will begin to fight against all kinds of enemies that are warring against you and have determined never to stop pursuing you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I declare that all the evil mirrors the wicked ones are using to monitor your life are shattered right now by the thunder and fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that all the evil objects the wicked ones are using to send projections at you and your loved ones are consumed this very minute. I decree that the objects and pieces of machinery of the wicked ones are destroyed forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like how God rained down fire and brimstone in Sodom and Gomorrah in the days of Lot. 
That is the same way the Lord will rain down fire and brimstone upon the habitation of the wicked ones who are fighting against the will of God from being realized in your life. Not one of them will escape the judgment of the Lord. This season in Jesus' name. I begin to pray that the wicked ones who are making life unpleasant for the righteous ones in different communities are exposed by the fire and judgment of the Lord in Jesus' name. I decree that an end has come to the wickedness of the wicked in your life and family. No more will the wicked thrive. They will be cut off wherever they are right now. The Lord is exposing all the secret devices of the wicked ones this very minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The protection of the Lord is one thing that every child of God needs in this evil world. You need God's protection because the devil is all out to ensure that you are afflicted and oppressed. There are many strategies that the devil and his cohorts employ to make the children of God vulnerable to their attacks. You must be on the lookout because your adversary the devil is going about like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. He is circumnavigating the whole earth to put people under his bondage and traps. You should not be ignorant of the devil's devices that he often uses to attack and afflict God's people. He is a master tactician and he is never tired of employing all the weapons in his arsenal to afflict the children of God. As a child of God, you must be aware that the devil has come to steal, kill and destroy, and he will ensure that he executes this mandate till his time is up. There are strategic prayers you need to pray to keep you in a state of safety, which will keep you safe from all the attacks of the evil ones. The word of God is one of the weapons you need to employ in waging war against the devil and his adversaries. To use the word of God, you must be full of the word of God. You speak the word of God in faith to cancel out all the attacks and plots of the evil ones that are working against you and your family. We will be engaging these warfare psalms against the attacks of the evil ones and to protect us from the devices of the wicked ones. Do not forget that you have the authority to decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your paths. Join me as we pray together. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for keeping us safe from the attacks and plots of the wicked ones that are gathered against us and our loved ones. We give you the praise, Father, because you will always help us to come out triumphant irrespective of what the devil and his cohorts are doing to frustrate the will of God for us and our families. We are also grateful, Lord, because the agenda of the wicked ones is falling like a pack of cards this instant. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, because we are safe and secure under the mighty hands of the Holy Ghost. And because of this, we will never be vulnerable to the attacks of the evil ones. We say a big thank you to your holy and majestic name, Lord. Thank you, Father, because no matter the attacks of the evil ones, we will always come out unscathed. We thank you, Lord, because the hedge of defense you have built around us will never be taken down by anything nor by ourselves. Glory, honor, and majesty be ascribed to your holy name, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because this season, no member of our families will be attacked by the devices of the wicked ones. There is no one to be compared to your holy name, Father. For this reason, we are still saying thank you. The word of God says in 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3, But the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. According to the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord is establishing you and guarding you against all the evil ones gathered against you. The Lord is keeping you safe from all the attacks of the evil ones much more this season in the name of Jesus. No matter the number of people against you, the Lord will prove himself to be strong and mighty on your behalf. You won't see shame as the Lord is your reward and the lifter of your head. Psalm 34 verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. I pray that much more this season. The angels of the Lord are encamping round about you and will deliver you from the evil ones who are planning to hurt you and put you to shame. I decree that the angels of the Lord are going ahead of you to clear all the blockades and stumbling blocks that the wicked ones have placed on your path to greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. I say that you will always be carried about by these angels, and they won't allow any hurt to come near you or the members of your family. According to the word of God in Psalm 32 verse 7 which says, 
You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. I pray that the Lord will always be your hiding place, and he will always preserve you from all troubles. The Lord will always be your shelter, and you will always run under his wings in times of trouble and trials in the most powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Exodus 14 verse 14 says that the Lord will fight for you, and you will hold your peace. The Lord is your greatest ally in the war against your enemies. The Word of God is also a weapon in your arsenal to combat the wicked ones fighting against you and your family. The Word of God says that life and death lie in the power of your tongue. This simply means that you can do anything whatsoever with the enemies that are fighting against you and your family. If you are tired of what is going on in your family, if you notice any strange pattern in your family that has been putting your life and family in siege, now is the best time to combat these powers. You have the authority in Christ Jesus to trample upon all the powers of the enemies, and they dare not hurt you in any way. We will be exercising the authority we have now by commanding the operation of the enemies to cease in our lives and families. Let us pray together in faith. Lord Jesus, we thank you because even before we call on you, you have heard us, and if you have heard us, we believe that you will grant us the petitions of our heart. We know that you are the God who can destroy the confederacy of the enemies that have conspired to fight against us. We have the assurance and know that you have given us victory already against all the evil forces that are warring against us and our families. Thank you Lord Jesus because the enemies have been put under our feet and they have been silenced wherever they are gathered against us. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you listening to the sound of my voice that the fire of the Lord will consume all the forces of darkness that have sworn to make life unbearable for you and your families. The Lord, who is your greatest ally, will arise for your help and put in confusion all the enemies ganged up against you and your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like in the days of King Hezekiah, when God sent an angel to destroy Sennacherib's army when he mocked the name of the Lord. Right now I invoke the name of the Lord, and I ask that the Lord send his warring angel to destroy all the armies of the wicked gathered to war against you and your families in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand in the victory that you have been given in Christ Jesus and declare that an end has come to all forms of affliction in your life. You will not be afflicted any longer as the host of heaven will war against all the enemies who have sworn that they will not eat or drink until they put an end to your lives. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you cannot be slaves to the enemies who have been putting you in any form of oppression and obsession. I decree that the stagnation that you have been suffering through the operation of the wicked ones in your homes comes to an end this very moment in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the fire of the Holy Ghost will rain down on the heads of all your enemies gathered around you and your families. I shoot forth the arrows of God to pierce the hearts of your enemies who are bent on destroying you and your loved ones. I call on the Lord to arise this and cause all your enemies to be scattered wherever they are assembled. I know that when the Lord arises, all the enemies will be scattered asunder. And that is why I am calling on the name of the Lord to destroy the confederacy of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the agenda of the wicked ones to render the will of God for your lives inactive are destroyed. Only the counsel of the Lord will stand sure and true in your lives. I decree that the fire of the Lord is consuming all unfriendly friends who are pretending to be your friends. The Holy Ghost will expose them to you this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Spiritual discernment is the ability to be able to discern what is good and evil and to look into deep things in the spirit realm. One thing every believer must have is the ability to discern. It is an indispensable gift that must be exercised daily without reservation. The reason why you must be discerning is because the world lies in gross wickedness and the devil often uses people to instigate evil. The devil is a master strategist, and he makes use of people to perpetrate evil in society. Faith is an active ingredient that needs to be employed in discernment. Faith acts as the fuel for spiritual discernment. 
It empowers us to trust in the guidance we receive, even when the path ahead seems unclear. Faith isn't about certainty. It's about confidence in the unseen, trusting that the journey will lead to growth and understanding. The reason why faith is needed in the process of discernment is because there are times you will feel like what you discerned is not accurate. This is normal for everyone who is just learning how to exercise his or her discernment, and it will take continuous use of it to become more accurate. The discernment is needed and important for you to exercise daily for you to be grounded in it. Doubt is a natural part of the discernment process. Instead of resisting it, recognize doubt as an opportunity to deepen your faith and understanding. Reflect on past experiences where discernment led to growth, which helped you to get better at it. You should know that discernment is also the ability to know a spirit that is in operation. This is because not all guidance is from a pure source. It's crucial to test the spirits, as 1 John 4 verse 1 advises, ensuring that the guidance you receive aligns with your core spiritual values and the teachings of God's undiluted word. Regular study of the Word of God can offer timeless wisdom and principles that guide your decision-making process. By meditating on these teachings, you create a spiritual framework that naturally informs your choices. Whether it's a career move, a relationship decision, or a personal commitment, discernment helps ensure that your choices reflect your spiritual values and align with the purpose that God has created you for. Another thing you need to know is that not all relationships are beneficial. Discernment helps you identify those that nurture your spirit and contribute to your growth, while gently distancing yourself from toxic or draining connections. It is also necessary that we pray for our spiritual discernment to get quickened. We will be praying together in faith. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, Lord we thank you for giving us the spirit of discernment to be able to decipher accurately your will for us. Thank you, Father, because you will allow us to exercise our senses of discernment to be able to make the right decisions in our lives. Blessed be your name, Lord, because we know that your spirit is at work in us, which is guiding our every step and move. We exalt and magnify your name because we are discerning to know the activities of the wicked ones in our families and lives. Blessed be your name, Lord. Thank you, Father, because there is no limit to what we can know in the realm of the Spirit, because we have a holy unction, and by this, we know all things. Thank you because your wisdom at work in us is teaching our hearts to apply wisdom rightly and to number our days. Blessed be your name, there is no one to be compared to your holy name, Lord. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that the Lord will make you know what to do per time and season. You won't be confused as to know what the Lord wants you to do in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that the hand of the Lord is resting on you, and it is empowering you to walk much more in the supernatural. You will be able to look deep into the realm of the Spirit and know what the wicked ones are planning against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will be able to work accurately in sound wisdom in all areas of your life, this season and beyond. I pray that the light of the Lord will shine in areas of your life where you need guidance and make you know what to do. You won't be led astray by false teachers of the word because you will be discerning enough to look beyond their sugar-coated teachings. You will be able to go beyond the facade of their physical looks and see the spirit that they are operating within in the name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray that as you work in the supernatural, you will not be swayed by the gifts of the Spirit. Rather you will be discerning to know that you should be more conscious of fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. There is no limit to what your spiritual eyes can see and what your spiritual senses can perceive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Protection from God is guaranteed for all His children. Since He is our Father who wants the very best for us and also wants our safety, he will ensure that we are always safe from any form of danger that will hurt us or any of our loved ones. The Word of God made it clear to us in Psalm 121 verses 7 to 8 that the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and coming in, from this time forth and even forevermore. The protection of men is like building a castle on a sandy foundation, 
which cannot stand the test of time. Remember that only Jesus can keep and protect you from harm, danger, and destruction. So, today, we will join forces together and pray that God's mighty hands of protection always rest on us and our loved ones. Let us pray together in faith. Do not forget that a righteous man's effectual and fervent prayer avails much, and there is also power in corporate prayers. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because even before we call on your name, you always hear and answer us. Thank you, Father, because we know that all the prayers we will pray today will receive speedy answers. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because you will always protect us from the enemy's devices and keep us safe from every form of destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will always preserve your going out and coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I decree over you and your loved ones that you will be safe and secure from all forms of danger lurking on the road in the name of Jesus. You won't be prey to the hands of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the fire of the Lord will always encamp around you and your family. You will be too hot for the wicked ones to handle. The Lord will also build a wall of defense around you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. Therefore, according to the word of God, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies fashioned against you shall be decapacitated, and any evil tongue that have been speaking evil against you, and your loved ones are rendered speechless this moment in the name of Jesus. 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 3 says that the Lord is faithful. He will establish and guard you against the evil one. According to the word of God, I decree that the Lord will establish and guard you always from the trap and pitfalls of the wicked ones ganged up against you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. You are heavily protected and shielded from all forms of evil around you in Jesus' name. According to the word of God in Psalm 34 verse, 7 which says the angel of the Lord encamps around them who fear the Lord. Because of the word of God which stands sure forever, I pray for you that the angel of the Lord will always protect you and all your loved ones and prevent any harm from befalling you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the arrows of the enemies shot against you and your loved ones are sent back to where they were sent from. I pray that all satanic projections sent to hinder you backfire right now. The Lord will always be your shield and buckler against the fiery darts of the wicked ones. You will never be a casualty to the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will not be a prey to the mouth of the wicked ones. The Lord's mercy will keep you from being hurt by the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will always go before you and clear all the obstructions that the wicked have placed on your path. The Lord will shut all the pits that unfriendly friends have dug for you and your loved ones in Jesus' name. I decree that the fire of the Lord will consume all the gathering of witches and wizards that have gained up together to destroy your peace of mind and that of your family in the name of Jesus. I send forth the lightning and arrow of the Lord to destroy all the pieces of machinery of the wicked ones that they are using to manipulate you and your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The will of God is encapsulated in his word. God's will for his children is that they prosper and be in health, even as their soul prospers. You should know that God wants the best for you and your family, and he wants nothing short of that. Your family might be going through unfavorable situations which are contrary to the will of God, but you can stand as a priest to enforce the will of God for your family. The will of God is often opposed to coming to fruition by the devil and his cohorts. This is the foremost reason you must stand as a priest to ensure that the will of God sees the light of the day. No matter what your family might have lost in the past, it is still possible to recover those things. The thoughts of God towards you are that you walk in full manifestation of all the good things that God has in store for you as his child. Today, we will be enforcing the will of God in our families. The word of God is in our mouths, and do not forget that we are kings and our words are laws. As I will be making these declaration over you and your family, 
do well to receive these prayers in faith. Join me as we pray together. In the name of Jesus, Lord we thank you because the thoughts you have towards us are of good and not of evil to give us an expected end. We bless your name Lord because your will for our lives will be manifested from today and no force will prevent it from coming to pass. Lord Jesus, we bless your name because your will for our families will make our families stand strong in the face of unsavory situations. We bless your name because your promises for our families are yea and amen in you. We know that in your time, all the good things that you have in store for our families will begin to see the light of the day. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I decree that the promises of the Lord over your family are manifesting right now whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not. I pray for you that the will of the Lord for your family will not be truncated with your hands, and it will never be delayed by the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will expose the agenda of the wicked ones to truncate his will for you and your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will arise in his mightiness and scatter all the enemies of your family who are fighting tooth and nail to prevent the will of the Lord from coming to manifestation in your family. I decree over you and your family that the fire of the Lord will expose all the hiding corners of the wicked ones who are strategizing and putting their pieces of machinery in place to frustrate your family out of God's will for it in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that a mother might forget her suckling child, but the Lord can never forget his own. I pray for you and your family that the Lord will ensure that he hastens to perform his promises and covenant over you and your family. The word of the Lord is enforced in all areas of your life and family whether the devil and his agents like it or not in the name of Jesus. I decree that the fire of the Lord is consuming all household wickedness who are pretending to be friendly and delaying the will of God from coming to fruition in your families in Jesus' name. The Lord is exposing all unfriendly friends who are working against God's will for your family. You will be discerning enough to know the people who have been sent to distract you and your loved ones out of the will of God in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says in Matthew 7 verse 7 that we should ask, and it will be given to us. We should knock, the door will be opened unto us, and we should seek, we will find. I pray for you that you will keep on persisting in the place of asking, knocking and seeking until the will of God begins to manifest in all areas of your life and family. The waiting power and ability have been bestowed upon you to seek the face of the Lord until there is a shift in your family in Jesus' name. Luke 18 verse 1 says, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. I declare over you that since you are the priest in charge of your family, you won't stop praying over every member of your family. You won't get weary in the place of prayers as you stand in the gap for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When the Lord disgraces the enemies, he does that spectacularly, making them dumbfounded and embarrassed. God turned the counsel of Ahitophel, formerly King David's trusted advisor, into foolishness when he betrayed David. There are many people who are against you and want your downfall. I know one thing for sure, and that thing is that God is still very much in the business of disgracing all the enemies of his beloved children. The word of God says in Job 5 verse 12 that God disappoints the craftiness of the wicked so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. The enterprise of the wicked is to do wicked, and to make life miserable for the children of God. You have to cry out to the Lord to deliver you from all the stubborn enemies who have been pursuing you for a long time. Remember that God disgraced Pharaoh and his hosts in the Red Sea after they pursued the Israelites relentlessly. If you are stuck on the kind of prayer to pray when it looks like you are being overwhelmed by the number of enemies that are gathered against you, you can simply pray the same prayer that David prayed which was, Father turn the counsel of my enemies to foolishness. When God disgraces the enemies he does that in a way that will make the enemies know that they are no match to him and they are puny. What are the things you have noticed that are going wrong in your life and family which you know are the handwork of the wicked ones? Cry out to the Lord to expose and disgrace all the wicked ones. The psalmist prayed a simple prayer when he said that God should arise 
and let all the enemies of God be scattered. Your enemies who do not have your interest at heart are also the enemies of God. Now is the perfect time to pray against all your stubborn pursuers to be disgraced and put to shame. Without believing that you will receive the answers to your prayers, you won't get the answers to them. Join me as we pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you because even before we call on your name, you have answered us already. We have this confidence that we will receive the answers to our prayers. Blessed be your name Lord Jesus because you are prayer answering God who is more than able to hear and answer all our prayers. Thank you because all our enemies are disgraced today. Your word says in Ephesians 3 verse 20 that you are the God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask and think according to the power that is at work in us. We know that we won't go back the same way we came today because our expectations will be met and exceeded. You are the Holy One of Israel. Your name is Yahweh Sabaoth, who is the Lord of hosts. Thank you Jesus because your word says in Job 8 verse 22 that all our enemies will be clothed with shame. For this we are grateful and have confidence that all the wicked ones who are gathered against us will be put to shame. You are exalted and magnified in all areas of our life. We are grateful because the wickedness of the wicked against us and our families is coming to an end today. Glory, honor, power and majesty be ascribed to your majestic name Lord Jesus. In the name above every name, I decree that all the wicked ones who have come against you in one way will begin to flee before you in seven ways. I pray for you that all the workers of iniquity who have sworn that they will not give you rest until they see you end up in the grave will fall for your sake in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Deuteronomy 30 verse 7, The Lord your God will put all these curses on your enemies who hate and persecute you. I pray for you that all the wicked ones who are plotting to afflict you or any member of your family with any strange illness will be afflicted with the same ailment in the name of Jesus. The Lord is making all your enemies afflicted in the mind and in their judgment in the name that is above every other name. Deuteronomy 33 verse 27b says that the Lord will drive out all your enemies before you. Because of the word of God, I pray for you that the Lord is driving out all the wicked ones from their closed and hidden places right before your very eyes. Instead of the wicked ones to see your end, you will be the one to see their end. I decree that the days of operation of your enemies are coming to an end. I pray for you that the fire of the Lord is driving out all the powers of darkness who are subtly operating in your family in Jesus' name. Your home will be too hot a place for the enemies to find comfort in and begin to manipulate the members of your family. I ask that the angel of the Lord will chase all your enemies day and night until they are finally exposed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Spiritual warfare is a phenomenon all Christians should be aware of. The Bible made it clear that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down all forms of imagination and bringing all thoughts to the obedience of Christ. You have been given the victory already against sin, death, and even the devil himself. But the truth is that the devil is always roaming about like a roaring lion looking for whom to devour. He will always come to tempt you because he is the accuser of the brethren. You are the victorious one who is still warring against all the powers of darkness. Spiritual warfare is as real as the air you are breathing. Anyone who denies or acts like it doesn't exist is in for a long ride because the devil and his minions will make mincemeat of him or her. We have all it takes to wage war against the wicked ones and come out victorious. The weapons of your warfare are numerous, and you can decide to use anyone to bring down all the powers of darkness. The Bible is loaded as many verses that will help you to come out victorious against all the attacks of the wicked ones that are gathered against you. You have been given the authority to clamp down on all the powers of darkness, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. If you do not exercise your authority against all the wicked ones that are gathered against you, you might be prey or victim to the evil ones that the devil has assigned to afflict you. We will be exercising the same authority that you have been given against all the powers of darkness. 
You will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your paths. Join me as we pray together in faith. Lord Jesus, we thank you for giving us the power to trample upon all the powers of darkness. We give you the praise, Lord, because we will decree a thing on earth, and it will be established to us and light will shine upon our paths. Thank you, Father, because all forms of affliction, bondage, oppression and suppression are coming to an end in our lives and families. There is no one to be compared to you, Lord Jesus. We know that in all of these happening around us, we have been made more than conquerors through you who first loved us. You are highly lifted and exalted Father above the heavens and the earth. For all that you do, Eternal Father, we are grateful and thankful. The Bible in Psalm 23 verse 4 says that even though we walk in the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for the Lord is with us. His rod and staff comfort us. I pray for you that amidst the danger and evil around you, your heart will fear no evil because the Lord is always by your side and his rod and staff will comfort you in the name of Jesus. I decree that the evil that has been sent against you is nullified by the power in the blood of Jesus. Psalm 46 verse 1 says that the Lord is our refuge and ever-present help in times of trouble. According to God's word, I decree over you that the Lord is your refuge in times of trouble and persecution. He is shielding you from the attacks of the wicked ones that are sent against you and your family in the name of Jesus. The Lord is also your present help in times of weakness. I pray that you and the members of your family will abide under the shadow of the Almighty and hide under his wings according to his word in Psalm 91 verse 1. You will not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, nor for the destruction that lies waste at noonday in Jesus' name. As you go out today, I pray that your going out and coming in are blessed. His angels will bear you up in their hands and prevent you from falling into the traps and devices of the wicked around you. Psalm 55 verse 16 says, As for me, I call to God, and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning and noon I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. According to God's word, as you cry out to the Lord this season, he will arise and save you from all the wicked ones gathered around you to afflict you. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 also says that you should call on the name of the Lord in the day of trouble. He will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. I pray for you that the Lord will save you from the wicked ones and will also show you strategies to employ to bring down all the devices of the evil ones. The name of the Lord will often deliver you from all forms of oppression and suppression that you and the members. The word of God in Psalm 147 verse 3 says that God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. All your wounds and hurts in the past can be healed because our Father is an healer and he is not only capable of healing you in your body, he is also capable of healing you emotionally. Emotional wounds sometimes can be hard to heal from because it is one that involves the soul. The good news is that it doesn't matter how long you have been going through what you are going through presently. God is more than able to heal you. All the healing that you will ever need has been made available in Christ. You just have to come to his presence with confidence and faith to pick it up. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 says that Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. We will be making effective the healing that Jesus has paid for us by praying together in faith. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for making us healed already by your stripes. We bless your name that we are now walking in divine healing and divine health. Father, I pray for everyone listening to this message who needs your touch in their body and soul. I pray that they are healed completely in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in 3 John 1 verse 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. According to the word of God, I pray for you that you will prosper and you will also walk in divine health in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you are healed completely from those terminal diseases that are afflicting your body and are eradicated from your body by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61 verse 3 says that God will give you beauty for ashes 
and the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise for heaviness, so that you will be called the planting of the Lord, and you may be glorified. By the power in the word of God, I pray for you that your mourning has ended today, and the Lord will give you a garment of rejoicing for heaviness, and you are given beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Jeremiah 30 verse 17 that God will restore health to you and will heal your wounds. According to the Word of God, I decree over you that the Lord will restore health to you and all your loved ones who need healing in their body and their mind in the name of Jesus. The thoughts of God for you are never for you to be brokenhearted and sick in your body. Rather it is that you walk in divine health. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the good thoughts of the Lord for you as regards your health will begin to be manifest in your body and your soul in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all who are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I decree over you that you will be given rest as you hand over to God the burdens that are causing you heartache in the name of Jesus. All your needs that have not been met, which has made you worried over a period of time, are supplied right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind will eradicate the fear of falling sick in the name of Jesus. I decree wholeness for you mentally and emotionally in Jesus' name. All the arrows of sickness that are sent to you to make you fall sick backfire in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that your faith will make you whole whether the devil wants you to get whole or not in Jesus' name. Psalm 23 verse 3 says God restores your soul. Your soul is restored to the way God wants it in the name of Jesus. There is an overhauling of your body and soul. And I decree that any part of your body that needs to be replaced is replaced right now in Jesus' name. Sickness will never prevent you from walking fully in God's divine will for you in the name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost will surge through your body and soul and will cause anything that is contrary to the will of God for you to leave your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The mercy of the Lord endures forever, and it never fails. His mercy endures more than his anger. One thing that everyone needs in life as they journey through life is the mercy of God. The mercy of God breaks protocol for God's people and makes you stand out among the best, even if you are not necessarily the best. There are many things that you might have done in the past which should stand on your path to greatness. But the mercy of God has this uncanny ability to overlook all your wrongs and make God see you as being innocent of all charges against you. The mercy of God is new every morning, which means that the mercy of God can be renewed daily. The mercy of yesterday cannot carry you for another day. You have to invoke it every morning as you wake. Remember blind Bartimaeus, when Jesus was passing his way and heard that Jesus has almost passed him. He cried with a loud voice saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He cried very loud even though he was being shushed by people around him. The king of mercy had to wait and give him attention. That very day, his sight was restored just because he cried to Jesus to have mercy on him. You are not bigger than the mercy of God. The mercy of God is for all and sundry. You do not need to work extra hard before God show you his merciful side. Just by simply crying out to him, you can be assured that you can be a candidate of the mercy of the Lord. The word of God says that God will have mercy on whom he will have mercy. I know one thing for sure, and that thing is, you will be a candidate of the mercy of the Lord today, whether the devil and his minions like it or not. You don't need to worry yourself over the bad things that you have done in the past, as the mercy of the Lord qualifies, even the most unqualified. We will be crying out for the mercy of the Lord to be shown to us and the members of your family. Are you ready to pray? If you are ready, let's do that together in faith. Join me as we pray together in faith. Lord Jesus, we are saying thank you because you have promised to have mercy on those who you will show mercy, and we know that today your mercy will not elude us. Blessed be your name, Father, because your mercy has made us qualified to enjoy all the good things that you have prepared for us despite when it looks like we are not qualified to enjoy these good things. 
Thank you blessed Redeemer because we are no longer slaves to the wicked schemes of the wicked ones, because your mercy has exempted us from all these evil things. James 2 verse 13 says, For judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. I pray that all the punishment that you deserve for all the wrong things that you have done in the past will be ignored, because the mercy of the Lord will prevail over judgment right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is pardoning your wrong deeds which you deserve punishment and judgment for. The mercy of the Lord will make it possible for a table to be prepared for you in the presence of your enemies. You won't lack mercy when you need it most because the merciful one lives on your inside in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that mercy will never be a scarce element in your life and the members of your family. The Bible says in Hebrews 4 verse 16, Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I ask that despite all your feelings of shame, guilt and condemnation, you will still find confidence to go the Father to obtain mercy and find grace that will help you through in times of need in the name of Jesus. You are helped and loved much more than ever before as a result of the Lord's mercy that is at work in your life. Today will mark the beginning of streaks of merciful encounters that you will encounter with the Lord of Lords who is the God of all mercy. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that no weapon of the enemies that are fashioned against you shall prosper because the mercy of the Lord is destroying these weapons and making you stand safe in the security that the Lord has bestow upon you in the name of Jesus. According to the word of God in Psalm 23 verse 6, which says that surely goodness and mercy are following you all the days of your life, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I pray that wherever you go in the remaining days of this year, you will continually experience the goodness and mercy of the Lord in all you do in the name of Jesus. The mercy of the Lord will attract good things to you just like a magnet. I decree that the fire of the Lord will consume all anti-mercy agents that are working against you and your family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The victory that Christ gave to you when he died on the cross over 2,000 years ago was complete in him and cannot be reversed. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who first loved you. The devil might want to lie to you that you are a failure and that you cannot win that battle against cancer, disease, poverty, and every other thing that is against the will of God for you. The victory that you have been given is not a temporary one. It is a permanent one. Your mistakes and faults cannot make the victory to be reversed. I want you to know that the things that seem impossible to you can be achieved because you have the mindset of a victor and not a victim. Even if you fail at first, you are not a failure. Failure is just an event and never you. You will always emerge victorious in anything you lay your hands to do. Let us pray together. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for always making us victorious in your name. Your word says that in all the things that we are going through, we are still more than conquerors. We say thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us victory over the works of the enemies. Glory be to your mighty name, Lord Jesus. Father, we are grateful to your name for not allowing the wicked ones to triumph over us in any way. We say thank you for covering all our weaknesses and not allowing the wicked ones to leverage our weaknesses against us. We extol and magnify your holy name. The word of God says in Philippians 2 verses 9 and 11 that our Lord Jesus has been given a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess his lordship. According to the word of God, I pray for you that all the powers that are waging war against you and your family are brought under subjection, this very minute in the mighty name of Jesus. The name of the Lord will always give you victory over all the works of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name that is above every other name, I pray for you that the things that are hard for you to accomplish will become easy because the Lord is giving you wisdom that no man can gainsay or say no to. You have been given the spirit of excellence which will always make you stand out among the crowd in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in 1 John 5 verse 4 that whoever is born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Our faith. 
I therefore pray for you that since you are born of God, you have overcome all the things that are waging war against you and your faith will remain steadfast and immovable despite the storms that are assuaging around you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will raise the banner of his love over you and your loved ones. And as this is done, you will always be on the conquering side. I declare over you that you will never taste defeat in any area of your life. I pray for you that you will always put on the whole armor of God to be able to withstand the wiles of the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus. You won't trivialize the armor of God that you have been given in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree over you that today, you will songs of victory over the wicked ones who have sworn not to give you a breathing space in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the wicked ones who are chasing you are drowned this minute. By the power in the name of Jesus, I declare over you that the Lord is giving you victory over all demonic patterns that are at work in your family. Right now, I break that satanic cycle that has placed your life on siege in Jesus' name. You are not under any curse, spell, hex, divination or enchantment, because the blood of Jesus has given you total victory over all these evil patterns and proclamations. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that the Lord is giving you rest on every side against all the wicked forces of darkness who are ganged up to make life miserable for you and your loved ones. You are no more under any kind of satanic attack or manipulation because God is for you. Therefore, no one can be against you. Thank you Lord Jesus for hearing and answering all our prayers. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name I have prayed. Amen. If you have not subscribed to our channel, do well to subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to receive notification anytime we post new videos. God bless you.